as the third anniversary of Hurricane Katrina's landfall approaches, we have the opportunity to focus oversight attention on disaster preparedness and effective response. Katrina still has important lessons to teach about emergency shelter and longer-term housing for disaster victims. The Committee's two-year investigation into formaldehyde and FEMA travel trailers could yield important information about the need for clearer purchase requirements, um, better product safety standards, effective trailer storage practices, and a more rapid, coordinated response to public health issues. But by narrowly focusing today on four trailer manufacturers, the Committee risks missing the broader causes of variable, potentially toxic air quality in emergency housing units. The problem was and remains confusion among Federal agencies, not some conspiracy by trailer makers. Clearly, the United States of America should not be purchasing trailers that are going to bring harm to the American people. Would you agree that, with that? Of course, sir. Regardless of standard. And when we're talking about things like uh, watery eyes, burning sensations in the eye, nose and throat, nausea, coughing, chest tightness, wheezing, skin rashes, and allergic reactions. Formaldehyde exposure may also trigger attacks of those with asthma. Extremely high levels of exposure of formaldehyde can immediately be dangerous to the health, one's health and life. No matter what the standard is, the American people were purchasing trailers that could bring harm to other American people. That's, that's the face of this. In Katrina, we had people who were victimized at least twice. Their country failed them, except for the Coast Guard. And then the living in these trailers that was failing them also.